Hello there, welcome back. Just two days ahead of the first anniversary of the crash of MH17 over eastern Ukraine, some media outlets are circulating a leaked report pinning the blame for the plane's downing. The sources behind the leak of the official Dutch investigation say it was anti-government forces who fired a Buke missile. Well, let's cross over to Igor Piskunov just now for more on this um, supposed leak. So, hi there, Igor. So, can you explain this one for us? So, the official report's mentioned in this leak, but it hasn't actually been released yet, the official report. So, what does that mean? Right. So CNN claims that they have a source with access to a secret uh, closed preliminary report by Dutch investigators who have been looking into what happened to flight MH17, which was shot down almost exactly a year ago when flying over Ukraine, when about uh, 300 people, everyone on board died. And this source claims that the investigators are putting the blame on the anti-government or the pro Russian forces. At the same time, reportedly, uh, Dutch investigators are criticizing Malaysian airlines themselves for uh, ignoring the precautions and deciding to uh, fly through that conflict zone. Now, back in March, Ukrainian authorities, they claimed to have had access to another leak from a similar report, also by Dutch uh, authorities, in which they said uh, uh, investigators would blame uh, the anti-government forces as well, but both times then and now, the Dutch investigators themselves, who we have contacted, have refused to comment, saying that everyone needs to wait for uh, the official report, which is going to be released in mid-October. Igor, thank you for that. Thank you, Igor Piskunov, there reporting for us here in Moscow. Well, the Dutch Safety Board has already released its preliminary findings. That was back in September. The report said that there are no findings of any technical faults and that the plane was hit by uh, multiple fast-moving objects, basically meaning that the plane was shot down. The board also said that further investigation was needed and uh, promising that it will take a full year uh, in its uh, report. All right, ahead. The final report, a group of five states led by Malaysia have submitted a petition into the UN Security Council calling for a tribunal for those behind the crash. James G. Jajas, who was a former advisor to the Republican senators, believes the case has been politicized from the very outset. There is an ongoing investigation, of course, and uh, I am concerned that that is being headed by the Dutch, uh, who, are, of course, are a member of NATO, and that it already, I think, is tainted by a political process. All the countries that do have technical means that can point to what exactly happened should, should be transparent about this. And I don't think that's happening, unfortunately. So it remains a more of a political process than a process of establishing uh, responsibility and justice. Uh, people in Western capitals, particularly Washington, don't want it to happen. They would rather use it as a club to beat Moscow with, which, as we know, started within minutes of the, the occurrence in, in July of last year. And uh, why should we want that process to stop and actually turn into a, a real investigation or a, a judicial process if that becomes appropriate? 